My name is Jordan Boyd Graber, and welcome to the first of a series of videos about our December 2018 question answering competition between humans and computers. This is part of our series called Quanta. Quanta is an acronym that stands for our guiding principle about what it means to play these sorts of games. We believe that question answering is not a trivial activity. Q-A-N-T-A. In this competition, we pitted the very best trivia players we could find against computer algorithms that also played trivia games. But maybe you've seen some of our other videos or you saw IBM Watson take on Ken Jennings. It didn't quite happen in the same way. Humans and computers answer questions in very different ways, and this competition tried to focus on the different strengths of humans and computers. Of course, we'll have fun games with computers saying dumb stuff and taking on human teams, but we're hoping that this video series will do more than that. We're hoping that this video series will help highlight the things that computers are capable of doing and doing well. More importantly, we hope that this will also highlight the things that computers struggle to do. And for both the things that computers can do and that they cannot do, we hope that these videos will give you some indication of why that happens. Why is it that computers can do X, but not Y? To understand these differences between computers and machines, we have built a series of questions that we call adversarially written questions. These questions are designed to be difficult for both computers and humans to answer. In the first video, I talk about how these questions are authored. In a human-computer collaboration, where humans craft questions painstakingly, word by word, and as they do, the computer comments on, oh, this is going to be too easy for a computer, maybe you should think about rephrasing that. In exposing these shortcomings of algorithms, it will also let our human question writers create particularly fiendish questions that will stump computers. The second video will set up a discussion between researchers creating question answering systems and the people who write quizable questions for fun and profit, and how computers can help them do their job better, and how they as question writers can help improve artificial intelligence. The third video talks about the role of computers in trivia competitions, how computers can help people study, how computers can help organize competitions, and in general, talking about the symbiotic relationship between the trivia community and artificial intelligence researchers and people generally interested in doing fun stuff with computers. We then get into the competition itself. We'll introduce the human teams, we'll talk about their strengths and weaknesses, and we'll see the results of the competition to select the best human teams among those that entered our competition. Once we've introduced the teams, we'll start seeing the competition between computers and humans unfold. We'll see how the teams stack up against each other, and we'll see what happens when humans take on computers, and what teams, either humans or computers, do particularly well. This has been part of our series on human-computer question-answering competitions, where we pit human teams against computer teams to see who's smarter. We help you Get in on the fun by creating your own systems or participating in these events, and explaining what's going on from both the human perspective and the computer's perspective. You can find more by clicking on the links or by going to quanta.org, where quanta stands for question answering is not a trivial activity.